Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Brave Browser version 1.79 with Chrome 137 rolling out, which is now the latest release. And to check we have the update, we head to our main menu, Help About Brave. And latest version in bold is 179.118. And the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, is sitting on 137.0.7151.61. Now you may notice that this looks a little bit different and that's actually a change that has rolled out with this latest release where Brave says it's improved the formatting of the version information under Brave settings help now and the change is the Chromium version used to be here to the right and the link that you could click on to go to the release notes which is highlighted in blue was for the whole version. So that would be Brave and Chromium, where now it's only for the browser. So a bit of formatting changes on the About Brave help page. Now, first of all, just to focus on the Chromium security fixes that have rolled out. And for this week, we get 11 that are rolling out. And that's addressing two high severity flaws listed as user after free in compositing and out of bounds right in v8 and then after the two high severities we get some mediums and some lows so 11 security fixes rolling out for the chromium platform now focusing on what's new now first of all if you are using the web3 cryptocurrency wallet web3 that's received a couple of add-ons and there are two bug fixes and Brave always seems to be rolling out some improvements and fixes for the Web3 side of things. And then Leo, which is the AI chatbot, has received a good couple of add-ons and updates. And the first you'll notice is that when you click on Leo in the toolbar, it launches a full chat now instead of opening up in the side panel like it previously did. Now, there's quite a few add-ons in that, so I'm just going to mention these very quickly. For Brave Leo, they've added DeepSeek R1 to the list of preloaded models. But something I did notice with this is that it's a premium feature, so that's you have to pay for Leo to get that um, DeepSeek R1. And they've added the ability to have links in Leo responses, which I think is nice. They've added support for inline citations in generated responses. Added full page screenshot feature. Added support for HTTPS links in responses. And they've updated the chat bubbles to break and wrap long words and URLs. So a good couple of changes and add-ons rolling out for Brave Leo. And then focusing on the general fixes and improvements and features that are rolling out now for the browser. Brave says it's fixed the Tor onion icon incorrectly appearing in the URL bar in certain cases. They've updated the UR for progressive web apps, PWAs for Windows and Linux. The download button has also been updated. And if you're running the browser on Mac OS, they've removed can't update brave message from the hamburger menu on Mac OS. And then we get two fixes. Brave fixed an issue with WebSocket reconnection. And they fixed Brave and Chromium versions displaying as undefined when browser language is not English on the About Help page for Brave. So guys, that's more or less what's new in version 179 with Chrome 137. And this latest release rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 29th of May. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.